Source transformation we have seen. Now source shifting. So what do you mean by means when to use source shifting? So if uh, it is a technique used for simplification. Let us say if you want to transfer a voltage source or a current source. So if you want to do any source transformation and you don't have any series resistance with the help uh, in series with the voltage source or no resistance in parallel with the current source so if you are having let us say for example this is a voltage source in this voltage source you will not find any resistance in series with this so how to transfer this voltage source into current source so you won't be able to transfer this voltage source into current source so that's why you have to use source shifting so source shifting means now you just observe in this particular circuit point number 1 and point 2 these two different points which is the same you can say the potential at point 1 is same as that of potential at point 2 since both are shorted to each other and they are connected to positive end of this battery of 18 volts but you will see This point number one is connected to four ohm resistance, and point number two is connected to three ohm resistance. So these two points, they are different points, but having the same potential of 18 volt. Shift this point in two so that the circuit will be simplified further. This circuit will be simplified further as this. The The entire portion of this circuit will remain as it is. Only point one and two will split with two voltage sources of 18 volt. That means this 4 ohm is connected with 18 ohm, 18 volt uh, source as one, and another link will be this 3 ohm resistor is connected to 18 volt source. So here we will find that this 3 ohm resistor. is connected to 18 volt source that is one source and this is another source 18 volt source which is connected to this 4 ohm resistance so these two points we have splitted and this voltage source we have splitted into two this is the source shifting after using this source shifting now you will find that this 18 volt voltage source is having a series resistance of 4 ohm and this particular 18 volt source is having 3 ohm resistance in series with it so now we can convert this into a current source and this also into a current source so for source transformation it will be very easy to transform the source now okay so here we have transformed this voltage source into current source then after transforming that the current will become how much it will become current will be in previous it was 18 in series with 4 so 18 divided by 4 will become 4.5 ampere and a 4 ohm resistance in parallel to that so that voltage source and series resistance i have converted into a current source and a parallel resistance now if you will see further this 4 ohm is in parallel with this 2 ohm resistor this 4 ohm and 2 ohm they are parallel so i have reduced it further so entire thing is kept constant in the circuit only this 4 and 2 ohm resistances they are converted 
into a combination that is 4 into 2 divided by 4 plus 2 that is 1.33 ohm. Right. Now again this current source and a resistance combination I have converted into a voltage source and a resistance. So voltage source means this I into this R will be this voltage and this R which was in parallel will be in the series. So now this is the circuit. We want to find VA that is voltage across this 6 ohm resistor. Just tilted this circuit. I have rotated this circuit by 90 degree so that this point will become this VA point will become this and these three branches have drawn vertically. So this is the circuit like this now. Now I want to find VA. So if you want to find VA, VA will be VA minus 18 divided by 3 that is for this branch plus VA minus 5.985 divided by 2.83 that is current in this branch and plus VA minus 0 divided by 6. So that is this. So this equal to 0 from this equation after applying KCL for this node, I have got this particular equation and from this equation solving this, I will get VA is equal to 9.23. So that is the voltage available across this 6 ohm resistance. So today we will stop our discussion with this. So this is the revision point which we have covered. So till this point there won't be any question in the examination but you have to use all these for solving the numericals. So from next lecture onwards, we will start with mesh analysis and for mesh analysis, we will see all the five cases and simultaneously after this, we will see the simulation also. So that is why you will require for solving the numerical, you will require calculator. So you please keep your calculator with you, you will require your notebook to solve the numericals. So keep your notebook, pen, pencil, calculator and simultaneously we will try to simulate the same. So the circuit which we will analyze will try to simulate in the simulation softwares which I have already taught you in previous lectures. So we will make use of those simulation circuits, uh, simulation softwares to simulate the circuits so that the understanding will be very clear cut. Okay? Understood? So we will stop here today's lecture. Thank you very much for listening and Thank you sir. Yeah. Bye. Take care. Good day.